Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what should hopefully be a quick workaround if Cortana is not working properly after you've upgraded your Windows 10 computer, or perhaps you're coming from Windows 7 or Windows 8, you just upgraded to Windows 10 and Cortana is experiencing some issues. This tutorial will be for you. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And the first thing you want to do is identify what drive Windows is installed on. If you're unsure, what I'd recommend doing is heading over to the Start button and type in this PC. Best match should say this PC right above Desktop App. You want to left click on that. And now whichever drive has a little Windows icon right above it, you can see like a hard disk right here, should have a Windows logo on it. So you might have multiple drives listed here, but whichever one has a Windows icon should be unique. There should only be one of it. And it will likely be the C drive, but I can never say 100% certainty. It might could, it very well could be a D or an E or even a G or F drive for all I know. But it doesn't really matter so much. But for the purpose of this video, it does. So just take note of that. In my case, it's the C drive. You guys are going to have to swap that out in your case. So that's going to be important for our next step, which will be to open up the star menu again and go back into the command prompt. Right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. Command prompt should be the best match and again you want to right click on it. If you receive a user account control window you want to select yes. Now in this elevated command line window I'd recommend typing in chk dsk space and now I'm going to insert my drive letter here which is C and then I'm going to do colon so one dot on top of another dot space forward slash F so again chk DSK space C colon another space forward slash F now you want to hit enter and now you will not be able to run this scan while the computer is on because obviously Windows is installed on the disk that we're trying to run the scan on so it kind of has to go outside of the operating system to a certain extent so I think that's probably the best way to explain it but in order to initiate the scan for the next time we restart our computer we have to type the Y key right now so again the Y, the letter Y, and then hit enter. It should say this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. I'd recommend closing out of any windows or programs you have on your computer. Restart your computer and hopefully that will fix your issue. Now if that does not resolve the issue, I'd recommend once your computer restarts, head back into the start menu, type in command prompt again, and now right click on command prompt, left click one as administrator like we did before, click on yes, and now this time we're going to type in SFC, so the letters SFC space forward slash scan, so S-C-A-N, and then you want to type in now, N-O-W. So keep in mind there's two N's here, so it's not like the one N is just part of the scan and the now, there's actually two N's. It's like two words in one, basically. So they're just basically put together even though they're two separate words and the forward slash, there should not be any space in between that and the scan now. And once you've typed in it exactly how it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter. Now this will begin running a system scan. It will take some time to run. Just be patient. I would recommend that you restart your computer when it's done scanning. And then hopefully that should resolve the issue as well if the first one didn't work for you or didn't have the ideal results that you were looking for. But I do hope this brief video was able to offer you guys some help. And as always, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I look forward to catching you all in the next video. Goodbye.